There are a lot of random gameplay objects in The Sims 4 that a lot of us players kind of ignore, and I've noticed that a lot of people don't know that some of these things exist. So today I really want to talk about some gameplay objects that you need to check out if you want to add some different gameplay to your game and mix it up a little bit for the rest of 2021 or maybe all the way into 2022. Just try out some new things and see what you can do with your Sims. But before we jump into that, I just want to mention that I did start another channel because I love to be busy, apparently. I'm um, making a whole Taylor Soros Guides channel where we're talking about a bunch of how-tos for The Sims 4. It'll be the first link in the description if that's something you're interested in subscribing to. I would really appreciate it if you did. And let's just jump into today's video. So the first object on this list comes with The Sims 4 Romantic Garden stuff, and that is the Wishing Well. This is a really fun object if you want to just like try your hand at having a little bit of good luck that day and wishing for things like money, children, love, skills, youth, happiness, and teens and kids can even wish for better grades. And this is going to have a different level of success depending on the wishing well's happiness level. You can actually kind of see how the wishing well is feeling based on the look on its face, which is kind of fun. You can actually give the wishing well an offering to make it have a little bit better luck, but sometimes it doesn't always work. And sometimes if you give too low of an offering, it can actually upset the wishing well further and make your luck a little bit worse. But some of the funny things that can happen are you can like ask for love, but they'll send you a ghost as your significant other. You can ask for simoleons and then maybe accidentally all the money in your pockets will burn up because your sim will get set on fire. You can ask for better grades and your sims will end up with worse grades. So if you are having a good luck day with the wishing well, you can get quite a bit of money if that's what you want. You can actually get a free adoption if you ask for children, which is fun. So you can save that thousand simoleons. You can be given some people to fall in love with, maybe a new significant other. You can get your entire clock turned back and go back to the beginning of where you were at in your lifespan, which is also really fun and getting a little bit more time with your Sims is really great. But this is one of those objects that's just really funny and there's not that much else in Romantic Garden. This is like the one big thing that you may want, but having this on like maybe a community lot or just in the back of someone's backyard might be kind of fun just as a place to go, see if things are going to go well, see if things are going to go terribly. It's, it's a good one. It's a really fun object to play with once in a while. The next thing is a more recent addition and that is the Cottage Living Birds and Rabbits. You'll see these bird trees and wild rabbits around Henford on Bagley. Unfortunately, they don't happen anywhere else in the world unless you use different mods to be able to place them in other worlds, but if you do raise your relationship with these animals enough, you'll be able to add their homes to your home lot, which is really fun. And you can find these wild birds and wild rabbits just kind of like hanging out around the world in Henford on Bagley. The rabbits will kind of bounce around, but the birds do have these little trees that they hang out in. They may be out flying, but they will always come back to their trees. And once you get the ability to add them to your home lot, it's really awesome because the birds will just be hanging out or flying around and the rabbits will be hopping around and hanging out on your lot. And when you have a good enough relationship, you can go ahead and give them gifts and they'll give you gifts. And it's really fun because you can like get presents from these and like earn income by selling these gifts. And you can also learn all of the gifting preferences for these animals to give them good gifts to raise your relationships faster. Adding these to your lot can really help with gardening as well, which is something a lot of players may not know about because you can enable gardening help and the rabbits are going to eat any weeds that appear and the birds are going to get rid of all of the bugs, allowing you to barely have to do anything, especially with the season's gardening update where we barely have to water stuff anymore. It makes gardening so much easier and it's really cute to just have the animals doing all of the work. The next thing comes with The Sims 4 Spa Day, which recently got an update. This one is the meditation stools, and obviously these are going to help your Sims gain the wellness skill, it'll get them meditating. If you have The Sims 4 Snowy Escape, it'll also do that like emotion thing where they're like chilling and they become completely fine and they're just like chilled out. That also happens if you have The Sims 4 Snowy Escape, but it does just help them gain the wellness skill. But one thing that a lot of players don't know is that if you've already gone to the hidden worlds of Sylvan Glade or Forgotten Grotto, and then you go and you're, you, know, you know you're meditating, you're hanging out on the stool, you can click on your sim and have them teleport to these worlds. So instead of having your sims go back to Oasis Springs or Willow Creek and find these worlds again after they've already been there, you can just get them on a meditation stool and teleport right from your sims home, which is just a fun little thing. You won't have to answer any of the questions or do any of that. And it just is fun. It's just a good time. And even with the new refresh of Spa Day, your sims can host meditation classes and earn a little bit of money from that as well. So the meditation stools are actually kind of a fun object, mostly for that teleportation. And I really enjoy that quite a bit. The next thing is this giant pond that came with The Sims 4 Get Famous. If you stock this with the right kind of fish, you know, maybe some piranhas or a shark, uh, there's a chance that your Sims are able to jump in and they have a chance of death. 
this is a fun one. It's really fun as like an I can't decide if you deserve to live kind of situation where you want to see if a sim is worthy of your love and affection. But if you get them to go in more than once in a row, the death chances will be pretty high, especially if these fish are hungry. And honestly, I learned this recently from Lil Simsy, who does a lot of uh, a lot of jumping in this pond. And I didn't even know that this pond existed. I just completely ignored it and was like, oh, this is incredible. This death is a little bit brutal, though, since the Sims fish are just kind of swimming around and Grim stands there. But like the Sims, like, you know drowning and the fish are just hanging out it make it feeds a weird one but it's a fun one to play out and it's fun to have there if you want to be like hey i don't know if i want you to still be around i don't know if like you deserve to live after you cheat on your spouse that kind of thing you know and they just like jump into this pond thinking they're gonna have fun and they don't come out the next one is Birdie's Bee Box that comes with The Sims 4 Seasons. Having one of these near your garden will give your plants automatic fertilizer as long as the bees are happy, which is really great. Pair this with those birds and rabbits from before, you're just going to end up with the best crops ever. You also have the option to harvest the honey for sale, or there's even like a honey cake and things you can make on the fridge if you put this in your fridge. You can bond with the bees to make them like you even more. You just want to make sure that you're not wearing the bee suit or else the bees won't really care about you. You want to make sure that your sim goes in completely naked, uh, not naked with clothing on but like not with the bee suit you know what I mean not naked that's weird but like go in and hang out with the bees because if they're wearing the bee suit the bees aren't going to get more of a relationship my favorite part about this is that you can even collect a swarm of bees and you can use this to attack other sims if you're feeling a little bit frisky and want to go and just um, hurt other sims and make them have a bad day and I always find this to be really fun. In addition to being able to attack, a collected swarm can pollinate nearby plants, go fetch gifts, or even cheer up sims, which is really cute. And I just really like having things like that that you can just kind of use to your advantage and attack other sims with. As we know, my favorite things in the sims are like woohoo locations, death types, and torture. So that's how we do it here. The next one is the bug house from the Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle. These are great because you can use them to power your home. So obviously with Eco Lifestyle, you're trying to have like the most green house you can possibly have. And with these, you can actually add any of these bug types to the bug houses, nurture and care for them until you can harvest their biofuel. Adding this biofuel to the generator will power your house in a more green way than a regular generator operation and will cost you less money in your bills. This is really fun. And also there's another one that, um, another thing you need to know about these that brings me a lot of joy. If you farm enough of the beetles, and you collect their beetle nuggets, that's a disgusting phrase, beetle nuggets, but you can make a beetle juice drink. And if you have a sim drink three of these in a row, they will immediately turn into a ghost. It's just like saying beetle juice three times. This is a good one. This makes me very, very happy and definitely deserve to be on this list because I feel like a lot of people are like, why would I want my sims to farm bugs? And I'm like, I want my sims to farm bugs. The next one is the rodents from My First Pet Stuff. Now I know, I know My First Pet Stuff isn't the most ideal as it is a DLC for DLC and we don't love that, but the actual pets are really fun to take care of. It's cute to have your like little Sims kids have them. Maybe it's like a test pet before you actually get a cat or a dog because you're trying to see if your Sims are like able to raise this animal and it's kind of fun that way. And these little cuties will fly off in rocket ships, will roll around in their little bowl things for hours on end, which is just adorable. And um, they can even kill your Sims. Yeah, a sim with a poor relationship with their rodent can actually get bit by them if the rodent is particularly mad and their cage is dirty. This bite can sometimes give your sims rabid rodent fever, which they'll find out about after a few hours. So what's gonna happen here is your sim is gonna get a moodlet from getting bit and after about two in-game hours, you'll find out if they may have this disease. There are different stages of it as well. So once you get to the rabid rodent fever stage, which is about two days in, it's going to become transmissible. This means that if you have a sim who's living in a house with a bunch of other sims, if they come in contact with any of them while having this disease, they are going to give it to their family members. So other sims can also die from it. It's not just the one sim. You could literally go around and infect everyone in your household. One thing you can do is research cures on a computer to get a special medication for a cure so that you can get rid of it. You can do this at any stage of this, like when it's fuzzy fever, all of those things. But once in the, fi the final stage, your sims aren't going to do very well. They're going to be feeling dazed and there will be a death countdown timer in the sims moodlet and they will eventually die. Another thing about this one is that your sims are going to turn into a like hamster ghost and it's one of the most incredible things in the game. So these rodents, although the pack isn't my favorite, I do really enjoy playing with them.
The next one comes with Dream Home Decorator. This one is really, really fun just because it's really cute and it gets your sim skills up and that is the play tent. This is really awesome because both kids and toddlers can play in it and you can even have older sims come over and play as the monster, which is just so cute. So you have like a teenager and a kid and a toddler in your house. You can have both the toddler and the kid playing inside and then the older kid will just come out and like try to scare them and it's really precious. My favorite thing is that sims can sleep in this. So if you're playing like 100 baby and you don't have enough beds, both kids and toddlers will sleep in the play tent autonomously or you can obviously choose to do it yourself and toddlers gain the imagination skill really quickly in this thing so it's one of those things where if you're trying to get sim skills up quickly you can definitely have them play in here and it gets it up and it's really adorable the next one comes with the sims 4 get famous and that is the celestial crystal crown try to say that 10 times fast now this is a bit of a weird one it can it, you put it on your sims head and they look a little bit wild and then you want to mount any kind of crystal inside of it this is gonna give your sim a whole bunch of benefits and the benefits actually vary depending on what kind of crystal you put inside of it. For example, mounting a plum bite, which is this like a bright green, obviously it's based off plum bob, very cute. We'll have your sim's needs get completely full and will boost any gains to their fitness skill while wearing it. So if your sim is go going to hang out on a treadmill or boxing or any of the fitness things you can do in game, they will get the fitness skill more quickly. And amethyst will fill the hunger need and boost the logic skill gains. It's really interesting and each one has a different effect and it can impact your sims in different ways and they just look a little bit silly while wearing it but it's honestly fun if you want to get your sims to gain skills quicker or just randomly fill their needs one of those things that a lot of people would be like that's weird i don't want to use it but honestly if you were playing like some kind of super sim or something where you really want to get your sims to get those skills very very quickly it's definitely helpful and the final one on this is the parenthood curfew board this one's really fun because it allows parents to set curfews for their kids so all the kids teenagers everybody has to be home before curfew and when the kids stay out past their curfew they're going to get a text from their parent letting them know that curfew has happened and if they aren't home soon they'll get in trouble if the sims do decide to stay out later the parents can discipline them for missing their curfew and and depending on the parents parenting skill that's a lot of parent in one sentence they have different disciplinary actions they can do and one cute thing is that during the day before curfew the clock on the curfew board will be yellow and after curfew ends it's going to be red which is just a kind of a cute detail sims will also autonomously leave notes and drawings for each other on this board which I think is really adorable and it just kind of makes your sims home feel more dynamic and changing as opposed to just being the same all the time and just getting a little bit dirtier because homes do change and people add and remove things so it's really fun to just see these little items adding to this board and I just think it's a cute way to keep your sims homes feeling different. And there you have it guys, those are the gameplay objects from The Sims 4 that you need to check out if you're looking for a little bit more gameplay, something interesting to do, or just a new couple of ways to kill your sims, because apparently there's three of them in this video. We all know that that's what I'm into. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really hope you're having an amazing day, and I will see you next time. Bye everybody!